Good morning, everyone, or good evening, or good day. Either way, I'm back with another ZBrush tutorial, and today we're going to be talking about references. So when I first started working in uh, 3D, I was doing traditional 3D modeling, and I would generally set up a front reference and a left or right reference, a side reference, and I would use that to make my model. When I started with ZBrush, uh, it wasn't very clear as to how to do that. So in this video, I'm going to show you five ways to use references in ZBrush. Okay, so the first way we're going to do this is kind of only useful if you're going to be uh, sculpting a skull, but I figure I'll show it to you anyway. You go to your light box, and right away you can see there's grid, double click grid. And there you go. There's skull references. That's just a very quick and easy way to get started in uh, sculpting a skull. Let's continue on. All right, so for the next one, I started with a clean load of ZBrush. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna just drag in a sphere. We'll hit edit and I'll turn on the floor planes. See now, we have a floor. I'm gonna turn off the Y, but I'll turn on X and Z. So, you see we have a side and a back plane. We can go over to draw. And right here we'll click front, back. We'll click map one and import. Okay, and we will click our front reference. Let's open that up. As you can see, it has shown up right there. And now we'll go back to draw and we'll pick left and right. We'll click map one, import, pick our side reference. All right. If it's facing the wrong way, it should line with uh, the little head right here. We can go to draw. Make sure you have the right plane selected and hit flip. Now let's flip the image and we have our head reference. Something else we can do so we can see a little better is go back to draw, change the fill mode here to fill mode three. And now you can adjust the E enhance factor this controls how much you see through your subtool. You can also change the E enhance opacity, and this changes the opacity of the reference images. So this could be really useful when you're trying to line up your mesh with your reference images. Okay, for the next one, we're going to make sure that we have our reference image loaded in the background. You can either open an image uh, from your web browser. In this case, I have Photoshop. And I'm going to bring ZBrush up over top of it. And at the top here, you can see we have this uh, see-through slider. And I can just adjust this. And it lets me see through ZBrush at whatever's behind it. This can be a great way to see reference images in ZBrush. Using this method, I can go ahead and align my sculpt with reference images that aren't even loaded in ZBrush. They're actually behind ZBrush. All right, and the next method of loading references in ZBrush involves using the Spotlight tool. So I'll go ahead and go to Texture, and I'll Import. Okay, so I've loaded my two reference images in here, the front and my side. Go ahead and click one of them and click add to spotlight. Now I'm in spotlight. I can click and I can drag this image around any way I want. I'll go ahead and scale it down so it's a little bit smaller. I can adjust the opacity. It's a little bit transparent, but I'll turn it up all the way so I can see it a little better. Put that there. Then I'll go to texture, click on the next one. I'll hit add the spotlight, scale it down a little bit, move it over here. 
Once again, I can adjust the opacity. I'm just pressing Z to turn the spotlight on and off. Now the issue is I can't sculpt on my mesh. So what I'll do is I'll go to the brush menu. I'll click samples and I'll turn off spotlight projection. Now I can sculpt on my mesh and my reference images remain over here on the left. If I want to move them, I just press Z and I can reposition them any way I want again. All right, and the last method of reference I'm going to show you today involves a free program called CureRef. Now, this isn't actually in ZBrush, but I actually prefer this method. Uh, it's great if you have multiple monitors. So you can go ahead and download the PureRef program. And see here, I have a PureRef board. Now, PureRef board is basically a collection of reference images. I can do something like load my web browser, find pictures of my reference subject and just drag them onto the PureRef board. You can see they appear here. And there they are. So PureRef's great because I can kind of build a collection of images of my subject to reference while I'm working. So there you have it guys. That's five different ways you can work with references while sculpting in ZBrush. I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, please go ahead, like the video, comment, subscribe, share. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.